everyone. Welcome to the Guns of Gettysburg. And uh, for those of you who don't know uh, exactly what this game is, um, it is a Civil War game based on the town Gettysburg uh, right here. Um, it was in 1863, July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. It was the biggest battle of the Civil War. It was against General Meade versus General Robert E. Lee of the Confederacy. And... Uh, the North basically had to hold this position while the Confederates were coming in to take it over. All right, um, I took the liberty of already setting up the game. Uh, for those of you who already know the game, I've, I've even flipped over the first couple of uh, tokens of the oncoming um, um, cores uh, because I am playing Solitaire. All right, so my objective as the North is to protect these stars that you see Right here on the board they're my objectives I need to keep them safe at all times my objective is to maintain those objectives until the end of the game on the third day nighttime uh, the Confederacy's job is to take at least one of them and hold it and force me to have to come after it uh, by day two or day three which I'll explain once we get there now I already have uh, set up Buford in two divisions one here off of Chambersburg Road by the Belmont School. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And then over here by Bloker's House or Farmland. That's uh, called, it's near Oak Hill. All right. And this is by Carl's, Carlisle Road and Newville Road. Okay. And the objective here is, well, one, to slow down any oncoming Confederate threats, especially Chambersburg Pike. Um, however, Buford's here in the middle over here by the Carlisle Road um, because he can get to Mummersburg or Harrisburg. All right, so let's get to it. All right, folks, welcome back to the uh, day one of Gettysburg. That's July 1st of 1863, the 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock hour. And uh, I'll be doing brief little updates to let you know what's going on. So we've had uh, Bufford. Or Buford, however you want to say it. Buford has uh, been pushed back by Heath, who's just appeared on the Chambersburg Pike. Uh, so far, nothing else has happened from this area of the map. Uh, Reynolds' um, corps has come up from Emmitsburg, and this is where we're at right now. They came up to back up Buford, and now Heath is going to go ahead and hold and wait for more uh, of the army to show up to uh, help push back Reynolds a little bit here. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this, and uh, uh, let me know. All right, this is the 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock uh, report, day one. So uh, a couple of things has happened. We had Reynolds Group come up here. Uh, now the Iron Brigade's up here. And of course, this is supposed to be uh, hidden information, so I rolled to see if Reynolds would attack. He is not. He is not going to attack. He's going to hold fast here. Um, Heath did not attack when he had the chance to. He decided to wait for reinforcements, um, and they did arrive. Anderson's corps came in. I decided to have him come in off the road and then start slowly sweeping um, on the left uh, flank of, of Reynold. Pender also showed up quickly, um, and I had decided to let him use the road, and so he's going to come over here to slowly come on to the uh, left flank of the Confederate Army. And we'll see where it goes from there. All right, so we got the 12 to 1 report here really quick. Um, so I redirected Pender to come down here. Anderson is now flanking their left side, the U.S.'s left side. The U.S. is going to hold fast. They're going to try and hold the position. Uh, Iron Brigade's here, so they're going to have an advantage in the fight. Uh, Reynolds kind of brought the rest of his group over here to kind of watch that left side. It's not going to be enough, though, but... Luckily, Hancock is on his way in up Emmitsburg Road, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, Rhodes has now entered the field. Uh, I decided to bring him off-road, and then he'll come over here to start pushing on Buford while Pender comes and joins. This was kind of a cluster uh, over here, but that's okay. We'll get it We'll get it back. Um, Anderson will just come in to sweep, and I think we'll be good here. All right, folks, so shortly after the uh, last hour, we had a fight, um, Heath, and is back here, um, I put the arrows on him, um, they were where Pender was, is right now, and they did a, an attack here, as you can see, by these arrows, 
that I'm showing you. Um, they attacked Reynolds Corps, or uh, Brigade here, um, the Iron Brigade. They didn't know. I rolled dice to see, because obviously this is open information as a solitary game. Um, I also rolled to see if Hancock would join in. He did not join in, but he didn't need to, because Reynolds is pretty much, you know, pretty serious. Uh, and they did pretty good work of Heath. They damaged um, one of the regiments, and now they've retreated back here. Pender's taken up the new mantle uh, also. Rhodes has pushed himself forward to take on Hancock and Buford, while Anderson has moved forward, and they are not going to attack. They're going to wait because uh, the last attack took a lot of their their um, their attack tokens. Um, and we still have Hancock coming up from uh, Emmitsburg along with Sykes from Taneytown. 